we use the system board for three major types of workouts. They're body positioning, strength and power, and power endurance. In the body positioning part of this video, we'll focus on six exercises that address common errors in climbing technique. The first exercise you see is the Gaston, which is a shoulder intensive exercise and relies on creating a cross body vector. You ladder up just like you would on any of these exercises, left, right, left, step down, and then do right, left, right. And that would be one set of the exercise. The position under cling is a difficult one for a lot of climbers. And so most of our people that are working body position will work the under cling movements. It's just not a common enough position to address on real rock. So we work the feet really high, match under clings, move up to the second and then to the third level. And then we can either climb back down on the under clings or just come down on good holds. With the side pull, we step through with the opposing foot, um, pull up, then reach up with your leading hand, step all the way across, pull again. And this teaches us that good twisting motion as we go up the wall. We also do what's called a step through, which is similar in body position to the side poles, except we're just using the top of the holds or a good jug. Again, stepping through to get the good vector, reach up with an unloaded arm, step all the way back through, and continue that movement. As we do with any of the exercises, it's left, right, left, and then right, left, right. The flagging exercise can either be done outside or inside. The outside flag is where the non-planted foot flags behind the foot that's planted on a hold. And this is usually when the climber is off balance. We create that imbalance by lining the climber up vertically, um, climbing on handholds that are directly above the footholds he's using. The inside flag creates a more stable tripod than the outside flag, but it's not as common. The high steps can either be done outside or inside. With an outside high step, we start on a good hold, step as high as we can with the right foot, and then reach up as high as we can to a right hand hold. Then we repeat that. We step up with the left foot, reaching up high with the left hand. And then we can also do these inside, where we step up high right in front of the body or between the shoulders, as we say. Um, instead of leaning off with the way we do with a outside high step, this is one that's coming right in front of your pelvis and then you're stepping up and rolling onto that foot. 